Thanks for coming down and joining me in the basement today. This is my first full set of Lionel aluminum passenger cars. And what's really cool is these cars have a story to tell. Each one has a story. This car right here is probably my favorite because uh, it's a tail end car and it's certainly unique looking being an observation car with all these extra windows in there and tail light at the end and everything. I think that's really cool. But the other thing that's cool, it's got a date of 1995 and it says Train Collectors Association on it and it says City of Seattle. Well, what does that mean? These cars were offered as a collectible to Toy Train Collector Association members and the city on the name of each car is unique and it is the city of where the convention was held each year. So in 1995, it was held in the city of Seattle. So every car has a different year and a different name, and they did that for this particular series of cars for nine years. So I have nine cars in this set. Took a while to get everything together, but it's really cool. And being these are Lionel aluminum passenger cars, they're kind of the top of the line cars. So I hope you enjoy these cars. And if you've got any questions, let me know. And another reason why I wanted this set is the value. The price on these is less than your standard like Santa Fe or Rio Grande decorated car because it's just not that kind of a popular thing. Even though I'm not yet a Toy Train Collectors Association member, which I probably will be in the future, um, these are being offered for sale because obviously people are retiring. Many reasons why these are coming back up for sale, but you can get these in like new condition pretty darn easily on eBay and other sites. Let me move the camera and I'll show you what I got to pull these suckers. That's another reason why I wanted these. I have some special engines that I purchased earlier in the year and I really felt they needed some nice long passenger cars to go behind them. So what I've got here today pulling this is a pair of F3 Lionel engines from 1980. These are MPC air engines and they work great and I bought these in amazing condition at an estate sale earlier this year. Let's look at some of the details on the car. The full outer shell is extruded aluminum. I picked this car because uh, it's a little different. We got a plastic top up here, plastic windows, and the ends are plastic. And on this end in particular, we got the vestibule here. Uh, it's kind of an open cavity, which is kind of cool. This end over here is just flat. And on the underside, we've got kind of an interesting uh, setup with the coupler. It's probably standard for this type of car. But we've got a separately pivoted coupler arm here that extends out. This is good for going around tight radiuses. And got the roller. And this is the magnetic plate to open up the coupler arm. Or the coupler, I should say. So we pull on that. And then that guy opens up. Metal wheels and axles, of course. Um, on these, I had some squeaking, and it took me forever to figure it out, but the this small steel frame that holds the coupler, or the, the release mechanism for the coupler, was actually too tight. It's kind of, the metal is folded around on the axle. It's a little too tight. So to change out the bulbs on these cars, these are the bulbs right here. And all you do is you pull out the one screw here, and this whole small plate comes out and you can change the bulb. Some cars are easier than others to change bulbs on. And on this side, we just got the same thing. Another roller release mechanism here. That opens up our coupler. To, uh, if you wanted to open up the car, like I had a loose, a loose seat in this one, um, to get into the car, there's just a couple screws on the end caps here. And then these end pieces fall, come off and then uh, you're good to go. The trucks are well detailed. Uh, they say Timken on them, which is pretty cool. And they got some good detail on the side. And these skirts are still part of the metal shell. So it's real nice. On the bottom, it says Lionel, made in China, which is what they were doing at the time. 
Um, so yeah, on with the show. Of course, running a post-war engine with Pullmore motors, main attraction, and nine cars that have more than two lights each, this requires some serious power. And as you'll see, the amp draw gets pretty high on this guy, especially when we give her a lot of juice. But hey, that's why I bought this guy. But you definitely do not want to try using this on a starter set pack, because it will not be able to handle it. Steven, get it moving. It's over almost five amps. There we go. 5.7 But another reason why I like these cars is the matte black finish on the top is really nice or satin perhaps Watch what happens when I give it the gas Something that's definitely fun to do every once in a while. Oh, one more thing I didn't show you. The tail end car here, the little port window on the side, has a little TCA logo in it. That's pretty cool. Well, I hope you enjoy this quick look at the Toy Train Collectors Association set that I've got here. Along with this set, Lionel also produced some locomotives, which I may or may not get. They were F3s, I believe, as well. And there's passenger shells, of it, or there's body shells available for them, which are pretty cool. That's another interesting story uh, as to why those are available. But uh, that's for another time. Certainly catch me in the live stream if you want to ask me more about that. But this was a fun set to research and collecting everything i'm really glad i got it but there are also different sets because this is not the only set that has been made throughout the years so definitely worth checking out and maybe it's something you like maybe it's something you'll join the toy train collectors association and get all the new stuff that comes out my name's jeremy with too many hobbies thanks a lot for watching